Hello, welcome to this new video. My name is Martina Vincenzi and I am the founder of the VIP Flight Attendant Academy Private Jet Coach. Um, today, I would like to start this new video with a new, with a new topic, uh, with a question. And the question is, uh, are you comfortable on the apron? This is a very detailed and very specific question that I heard during a conversation uh, with some uh, crew members when I was out for, for a rotation. And uh, it really made me think a lot. Um, you know, flight attendants uh, on board the private jets, we are usually very comfortable in the cabin, right? Comfortable in the cabin, comfortable in the galley. Uh, well, for sure comfortable in the galley, Comfortable in the cabin depends, I would say, on, uh, on the customer's profile and on the mood of the customers. However, are we also comfortable on the apron? Um, what does actually mean? So as soon as we land in a, uh, in a destination, we need then to uh, fulfill all the post-flying duty uh, that, we are, that, that we have. And, uh, you know, sometimes... Uh, um, I also have seen it myself, uh, in particular when I, when I deliver trainings. It's uh, uh, maybe some people, they don't find themselves comfortable in uh, uh, asking questions or they are not really sure to whom they should ask uh, in order to get that service or in order to get that information. So, are you comfortable on the apron? Do you know uh, where you should go and uh, who you should ask for, for the services that you need and, uh, um, you know, are, are, you, are you comfortable in that part of the uh, business aviation environment as well? Um, so this is, a, this is actually a very, a very good question. Um, you know, I give you an example, a very practical example. Uh, when you arrive at destination and, uh, of course, you have the ground staff, uh, who is welcoming you and uh, mainly they start discussing immediately with the pilots to sort out all the, uh, you know, on-ground services that they need, such as fuel, uh, maybe toilet service, uh, maybe they, or, or water service, maybe they discuss uh, with the, you know, with the captain regarding the, the customers, where to take them, etc., etc. Um, all the paperwork regarding the flights, landing permits, and, uh, and so on and so forth. But what about the flight attendant? Um, do you know that actually you can reach out on those people to, to, let's say, chase after them in order to ask them and get also your things sorted out? Because uh, this is also part of the flight, you know, catering, for example, uh, that you need maybe, I don't know, uh, during a short turnaround, you want them to wash your dishes because uh, you don't have time to do that yourself because you also have to prepare the cabin for the next flight. So all those sort of things, are you able to manage them by yourself? So are you actually comfort comfortable on the apron uh, to request for whatever you need to the person who is in charge? Um, you know, I, I do believe that these things actually do come with experience. However, it's... Uh, it might be very useful to know that you, yes, definitely, you can do that. You know, you can be absolutely independent on those things and go speak directly with the ground staff and sort out with them whatever you, whatever you need. And, uh, uh, you know, I, I can see from, from my experience and also by uh, talking to pilots, I can see that uh, what is considered to be a very um, good and professional characteristic of the uh, flight attendant is the ability to be independent, to be able to sort out your things by yourself, to, you know, that you are on top of the situation. They should have the feeling that you are completely on top of, of the cabin, of the uh, catering, of the, uh, you know, all the on-ground services and everything else you need. So um, this is actually what I think and what I have, what I've been told by by pilots to be the number one characteristic of a uh, uh, VIP flight attendants. So I leave you now with these questions: uh, Are you comfortable on the apron? And uh, I look forward to see you soon on the, the next video. Bachi bachi.